Hi, today we're going to talk about some of the grasses commonly found in horse pastures in southeast Queensland and have a bit of a look at which ones might be high oxalate and which ones are safe for horses to eat without needing extra calcium supplementation. If you have a look here, we've got green panic. Grows quite tall and has this open kind of seed head. Panic produces good levels of feed after rainfall, but it is a high oxalate grass. Here we have Rhodes grass. Look for the purplish seed head that's a little bit windmill shaped. Rhodes grass is excellent horse feed, low oxalate, produces good quality grass that tends to um, keep them very happy and healthy. This one here with the big tall stem and the rat's tail seed head is Ceteria. Ceteria was planted commonly for cattle grazing and it's high oxalate. Horses tend not to like it very much, even the leaves are quite stalky and fibrous so it's not the yummiest of grasses. Over here on the flat you'll see some blue cooch. Cooch doesn't produce much feed but it's low oxalate grass. And down here a little further I can show you some kaikuyu. Kaikuyu is a common grass in dairy country and ex-dairy country right the way along the Australian eastern coast, even as far south as northern Tasmania. Kaikuyu grows from runners and you can see this one's growing all the way up the fence post. You won't see kaikuyu flowering very often. When it does, the seed head's very small and, and inconspicuous. Kaikuyu produces decent levels of feed for horses, but it is another of our high oxalate grasses.